Did you hear the legions of fans that screamed when you arrived? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. They, they, they are, they're very passionate. Yeah. yeah. I was standing here talking with the director when they arrived. I said, does he know how big of a heartthrob he is now? Me? Yeah, you. No, I'm not. Oh, it's, it's the character. It's PETA. They love PETA. Yeah, and that's exactly what he said. He goes, no, because he's so down to earth. Yeah, no. That's got to make you feel good. Yeah, but when you hear that, it changes how you feel about yourself, so you can't listen to it. People feel a little bit entitled to know all the details about everything in your life, and you just have to know how to separate the two and, and really uh, keep the people around you that you care about and you love close to you, and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll set you straight. Yeah. And I guess when you come to an event like this and learn that people have been camping out for days, does it kind of help with that a little bit? Uh, it makes me a little more nervous just because I know they're more excited and, and they're very passionate. I just want them to be happy with the movie, really. So who'd you bring in tonight like today? I know your brothers are very supportive. My brother, my sister-in-law, uh, a bunch of friends. My brother, It's my brother and sister-in-law over there. A bunch of friends. Yeah. yeah. You got a good supportive family of you. I have a great family. I got my, my brothers are my best friends in the world, and you know they they they're always supporting when they can. And uh, my mom and dad often are, I hear is they're not here tonight. They were in Lon the London premiere actually. So it's I have a great family. Yeah. It's nerve wracking, but it's exciting. You know, it's 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 like I said, it's we, we couldn't we couldn't be a part of a greater project. You know, it's it's such a a good bunch of people, and we have an amazing director, Francis Lawrence, and. Um, it, Jen and Josh and I were all saying this week, you know, doing this tour and we're going to different countries in Europe and we're just saying, you know, it's, it's so lovely to be with people that, you know, we enjoy being around and we've become such good friends and it's, it's a great project to, to share together and be a part of, yeah. It feels crazy. I mean, it's, it's a great feeling though. I mean, everyone's so sweet and it's great for them to be coming out like this. They're really dedicated, for sure. <laughs> Is there something about Jennifer that, that we don't know that uh, would be fun to find out about how she is in real life? I think it's just, I, I don't know if everyone knows this, but like she is literally like a sister to me on set. More recently, it's just been like, she's just been there for me through everything, especially with all this crazy press going on. She's just always there for me, and she's literally like a big sister to me. How flattering is it to know that they have actually been, you know, spending the night out here to be able to see you guys? I, I don't, I can't, uh, you know, I, I'm, I just, um, I feel so honored just to play some part in this franchise and the fact that people would go so far out of their way to, um, you know, to come support what we're doing. I mean, it's just, uh, it's beyond flattering. You know, I, I don't feel, don't feel worthy of that kind of commitment, but uh, we've got incredible fans, so. You gonna go give them some high fives or something as you pass them? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Better. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stage dive. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that surf, would be great. I'm gonna crowd surf a little bit. <laughs> when you walk on the red carpet and you hear them screaming and yelling, what is that moment like for you? Uh, it's just a heart melter, you know? I mean, they're the sweetest, most passionate fans I've ever encountered. And I mean, I make films for, you know, a genera the younger generation. I mean, that's what we want to do things for, right? They're the true revolutionaries. You know, we've only reached so far on our soapbox. It's like, I want to make things for them. Um, so it's beautiful. It's beautiful to be able to be here and give back just a little bit, you know? The premise of the movie, obviously, as everybody knows, is very intense. That, did you ever get that, you know, kind of feeling as you're on the, the set of feeling the pressure of the intensity? I mean, occasionally. I mean, there are sometimes we, we did some scenes, and in the scenes, if we could run it for a master, it could get very emotional and very intense, which was really nice to see and really nice to see that it was working. But I have to say, for as intense a movie as it is, we really had a fun time. It was really a light mood on set. Yeah. How, but when you are filming those things, how light can it get? Like they would just goof off when the, the camera would go cut? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is with this cast, uh, you know, there's nobody that's method. So everybody literally could be joking right up to the moment of action. I, I felt really supported by the fans and by the fact that there's a giant, super enthusiastic fan base, which is really good. I felt super supported, be, uh, you know, by the source material itself. Uh, you know, I love the books. I wanted to make the best movie possible. So, you know. And luckily, before you show up here, you get a little bit of a sense that people kind of like the movie. So, you know, so I feel better walking in here. Was I intimidated about playing this character, this complex character, Finnick O'Dare? Uh, and was I intimidated by being shirtless for half the movie? Yes. <laughs> yes and <laughs> yes. Answer, yes and yes. Uh, well, no, uh, luckily, I didn't have to be shirtless for half the movie, which is good. I was definitely shirtless for a portion of the movie. Which so did you work out a lot leading up to the movie then? It was a bit too much working out for my liking. Really? Um, yeah, I mean, I like my food. I like my, 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 uh, my I, I love my food, in fact. And I, I really missed home cooking. I really missed home cooking. Filming, we filmed in Atlanta, so I was away from my mum. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, 
But no, I was on a very strict diet and I was working out a lot and uh, yeah, it was a lifestyle change for me. The dedication for them to actually sleep here, mm -hmm. what do you think about that? You know, it's like it's like the old days, you know, when we used to line up for, uh, you know, Led, Led Zeppelin tickets. You know, people slept in the streets waiting for the new albums to come out by their favorite groups and it's, uh, it's exciting to see, you know. I mean, they've been doing that since it was funny when we were making the first movie. Before the thing was out, before anybody knew what it really was, people were already camping out at the uh, at the hotels. Yeah. So it's been from the very beginning. I definitely have been influenced by Effie Trinket. Um, she's made me a little bolder in my choices, a big color, you know, tonight. So, yeah, it's, it's great. I love being Effie. <laughs> What'd you say to all the fans out there who've been camping out for days to oh be at this gosh. premiere? I mean, the passion of the fans for this movie is it's overwhelming. I mean, it's amazing. I remember being that age and being pretty excited for stuff. Uh, so it's it's really special to be giving kids a movie in their formative years, you know, that they really feel passionately about. That I think is a great film. That you know, I just love it. Anyway, so true, right? Yeah. So how has your life changed since the Hunger Games and being in such a big movie? How has it how has it changed your life? <laughs> My niece and nephew give me a little more respect. That's now about you're it. You're a lot cooler 13, as far as an aunt. I'm a little bit of a cooler auntie. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Barely. Nothing else is just the niece and nephew yeah, change. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> Come on, you're getting Versace gowns. That's a good thing. I got a free coffee the other day. That's a good thing. Right, that was nice. Excellent. Yes. Maybe even two free coffees? I'm, I don't push my luck.